And there's the new pretty director. <laughs> Duplantis. LSU's men's track and field star, Mondo Duplantis, just set a new intercollegiate record for the indoor pole vault at 19 feet 5 inches. There's an incredible amount of physics involved in executing the pole vault, but to really be good, you have to have the speed of a world-class sprinter, you have to have the ability of a long jumper, the agility of a gymnast, and the flexibility of a ballerina. Let's see how he put all of these things together to execute his record-setting jump. The reigning world outdoor champion from last year in Beijing. I mean, it's the only record he's <laughs> It's amazing this actually works just based on simple conservation of energy that all of the kinetic energy he starts with ends up going into the gravitational potential energy at the top. So Mondo starts about 40 meters back from the pit, runs as fast as he can, and in his case around 9.6 meters per second, greatly increasing his kinetic energy. He then plants the bar at takeoff and then converts that kinetic energy into stored electrostatic potential energy in the bar. The bar then bends and acts like a loaded spring. The bar unwinds, giving him that electrostatic potential energy back into kinetic energy and more importantly gravitational potential energy, which then lifts him up uh, toward the bar. And then at the peak, notice how he goes over the bar feet first, and he bends his body into the shape of an L. This actually lowers his center of mass, and his center of mass can then pass actually beneath the bar. This gives him an extra five to seven inches in height, of which he can add to his jump. And since I'm someone who's involved in materials research at LSU, this is only possible due to the elastic properties of the material in the pole. If you look at how the men's pole vault world record has varied over the years, around 1920 or so to 1940, it was hanging around four to four and a half meters in height. But then in 1958, fiberglass poles were introduced. Now the poles are even more advanced. The fiberglass is reinforced with carbon fiber composites, which make them extremely light and extremely flexible. So they're really good at transferring all of that initial kinetic energy into elastic potential energy and finally uh, gravitational potential energy. So considering how complicated the pole vault is, it's impressive that a simple physics calculation can predict the height of Mondo's record-setting jump.